In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace and peace and love of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all of you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Today is Tuesday, March the 31st. It is the fifth week of Lent. And our scripture readings this day reminds us of the saving power of God that comes to us through his Son, Jesus Christ. As we come to the Lord's altar this day, we humbly acknowledge that we are dependent upon God as we pray for the forgiveness of our sins. I confess to, to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord, perseverance in obeying your will that in our days the people dedicated to your service may grow both in merit and number through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. <coughs> A reading from the Book of Numbers. From Mount Har, the children of Israel set out on the Red Sea Road to bypass the land of Edom. But with their patience worn out by the journey, the people complained against God and Moses. Why have you brought us up from Egypt to die in this desert where there is no food or water? We are disgusted with this wretched food. In punishment, the Lord sent among the people seraph serpents, which bit the people so that many of them died. Then the people came to Moses and said, We have sinned in complaining against the Lord and you. Pray the Lord to take the serpents away from us. So Moses prayed for the people. And the Lord said to Moses, Make a seraph and mount it on a pole, and whoever looks at it after being bitten will live. Moses accordingly made a bronze serpent and mounted it on a pole. And whenever anyone who had been bitten by a serpent looked at the bronze serpent, he lived. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Our responsorial psalm, O Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come to you. O Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come to you. O Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come to you. Hide not your face from me in the day of my distress. Incline your ear to me in the day when I call. Answer me speedily. O oh Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come to you. The nation shall revere your name, O Lord, and all the kings of the earth your glory. When the Lord has rebuilt Zion and appeared in his glory, when he has regarded the prayer of the destitute and not despised their prayer. O oh Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come to you. Let this be written for the generation to come, and let his future creatures praise the Lord. The Lord looked down from his holy height. From heaven he beheld the earth, to hear the groaning of the prisoners, to release those doomed to die. O oh Lord, hear, hear my, my prayer, prayer and, and let my let cry come, come to you. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the Pharisees, I am going away and you will look for me, but you will die in your sin. Where I am going, you cannot come. So the Jews said, he is not going to kill himself, is he? Because he said, 
Where I am going, you cannot come. He said to them, You belong to what is below, I belong to what is above. You belong to this world, but I do not belong to this world. That is why I told you that you will die in your sins. For if you do not believe that I am, you will die in your sins. So they said to him, Who are you? Jesus said to them, What I told you from the beginning, I have much to say about you in condemnation. But the one who sent me is true, and what I heard from him I will tell the world. They did not realize that he was speaking to them of the Father. So Jesus said to them, When you lift up the Son of Man, then you will realize that I am, and that I do nothing on my own, but I say only what the Father has taught me. The one who sent me is with me. He has not left me alone, because I always do what is pleasing to him. Because he spoke this way, many became to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> in these days when it seems like our world has been turned upside down with uh, isolation, with physical disdain, we can be kind of like the people in the first reading, grumbling and complaining against God. What have you done to us? Why have you brought us to this place? Certainly I do not believe that God has brought us to this place, but rather that God uses this place, uses this time and circumstances to bring us closer to him. I've seen uh, many ways in which people are now gathering together. There's more family time. There's time to check in with relatives by telephone or by email. There's different ways in which communities are gathering, but not so much physically, but maybe in terms of through technology or in other ways. It's in this time of trial, this time of testing, that God enters into it and brings us closer to him. In the first reading, as the people were grumbling against God and Moses, they ultimately became closer to God. Moses was asked to put the serpent on a pole, and anyone who looks at that serpent will have life. And then Jesus, in the Gospel reading today, he tells them that he will be lifted up, and anyone who believes in him will have life. In this time of upheaval in our worlds, let us know that God uses this time and place to bring us closer to him and to his love. Let us not be worried or fearful Rather, let us deepen our prayer and our hope. For our God who came to save us continues to be working in our midst. My sisters and brothers, we have listened to God's word so we now come before the Lord to offer our prayers for our church and our world. We pray for the leaders of all churches that they may be graced with the spirit of calmness and comfort as they guide their people through these days. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Let us pray for our health care workers, for emergency personnel, that they may always know of God's presence as they minister to the sick. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
We pray for those who are ill. They may know of Christ's healing presence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. And let us pray for the faithful departed, especially for Lyle Carpenter and Emily Mazio, for whom this Mass is offered. May they and all who have died in Christ now come to share eternal rest and peace in God's heavenly kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. God, we praise you and thank you for the gift of this day, for the gift of your great love. Be attentive to the prayers of your people. Grant them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness we offer to you this bread. It's from the earth, the work of human hands may become for us our bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness we offer to you this wine. It's fruit of the vine and the work of human hands may become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. My sisters and brother, please pray that this sacrifice of ours may be acceptable to our Almighty God. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We offer you, Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation, that being moved to compassion, you may both pardon our offenses and direct our wavering hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your, your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty, since by your wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed, and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and the saints, we too give you thanks as with the exaltation we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your, your death, death, O Lord, Lord and, and profess, profess your resurrection, resurrection until you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity 
together with Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, and the leaders of our religious communities. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At our Savior's command, informed by his divine teaching, we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant us her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with all of you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Lamb of God, you take, you take away the sins of the world. Have, have mercy on us. on us. Lamb of God, you, you take away the sins of the world. Have, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the sins of the world. Grant us your peace. <clears throat> Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Jesus who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are called to the supper of a Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. those of you who are watching this from uh, your home, please join me in our prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that ever seeking what is divine, we may always be worthy to approach these heavenly gifts through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you and your families, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace and glorify the Lord with your life. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.